Welcome back, Poke fans, to the Pokemon Opalo playthrough. In the last episode, we took down the third gym leader, so we got our third badge. She was a fire and steel type. We also saw some really cool Fakemons. After that, we met with Apollo to see the Pokemon, the commander for uh, Team Gatlin. I can't remember her name now. She was interrogated as to why she was trying to steal all that Poke Essence, and it turns out they were planning to blow up the prison that their leader, Daringa, was held in. We also found out that there's two founders of Team Gatlin, but you couldn't see who the second one was because the picture was torn. The president then turned up, said that we, Apollo should stop investigating Team Gatlin because they're just a load of thugs now, not really a big threat, but he wasn't happy with that, so he's going to head off to Jalak City to collaborate with his friends or something but turns out that's where we've got to go so no he's brought us here so we can continue on to I think it was Ornavo Town or something along that line so yeah Orv Orvalo Town we've got to go through Route 6 we are going to head up there now my team should be ready to go although we're gonna lead off with somebody different this time so if we head up here to route 3 I think we were getting stopped by a rock or something because we also got the TM4 strength Oh no, you just head through this cave. Oh yeah, that was it. There's a, a rock in here that you couldn't get past, I think. So it wasn't that way. I've got like the worst memory ever. Like, I couldn't remember what I did like the day before. Oh, our eggs hatching, I forgot all about this. And it's an Eevee. Um we're not going to add it to the team until I find out if there's a new evolution ah here we are Mundanes hi Pokex what are you doing here after our last fight I spent a few days pondering whether I should go home or continue travelling in the end I flipped a coin and decided heads or tails well the coin fell edgewise but edgewise sounds like Kanto which is a region full of strong trainers so I took it as a sign the bad thing is that the road to Orvalo town is blocked by this big rock I've been told that there's a hidden machine called Strength that is able to move them, but I'm sure they were just trying to pull my leg. Um, did we just click? Oh, no. Okay, we just click on it and it moves it. Well, thank you very much for clearing the way. How many more rocks like this will there be in the world? Surely many things can be found behind them. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see if I get my confidence back so we can fight soon. Oh, uh, yeah, because we beat him last time and then he tried to kill himself. Yeah. This game is very, very dark. I wonder if there's anything different in these dust clouds. Level 27 Oddi um, Onyx. Is there anything down here for us? No, just somewhere to surf. So let's head into this trainer battle. Bounty Hunter Hamal has got a level 27 Grabbler. Um, yeah, that's a little bit strong to be playing with. I'm going to pound you first because I've got a feeling you got sturdy. And then we can use Mega Drain to get all that HP there. Pretty much all of it anyway. Um, up next is Leron. So right now you should be Rock Steel, I think. Fake out, break the sturdy. Although I'd be surprised if Rock's much KOs anyway. Yeah, it's quite a weak move. Second one, I'll finish it off here. What's in this dust cloud? Just a drill bit. Clip this rock, see if there's anything there. No, there's not. I genuinely, for a second, thought that that was something new then. But no, it's not. Can't get down there because we need rock climb. So we'll head into this other trainer battle. Backpacker Annabelle, and you have an Ivysaur, which 
We can KO, but not when we're asleep. We should resist all of his moves as well. Don't know why it keeps going sweet scent, like just the tackle, she can't really do anything anyway. Oh, we're finally getting a better move. Uh, we'll get rid of Scratch. Charmeleon. Um, Tangler is our best bet, but we'll go Persia. She do take super effective damage. Two bites does the job. This person's literally got all the um, second evolutions of all the Kanto starters. That protect's not going to save you, unfortunately. Do you leave that there? So right, the Mega Drain will finish it off. Right, continuing on, we'll go down here. We've got four restore. That's an item worth going back for, I suppose. What do you want? I found a curiously shaped boulder this morning. Do you want it? I don't know. There are people who collect stones, and it's a hard stone. I think that just boosts um, rock moves, maybe. So this one's an onyx. What are you? You're also an onyx. I would have thought that Galette, or whatever it's called, would have been in here, but I suppose you don't really know more surfing water ah you're one of those people that heals us up oh and you got a chance that's perfect all this xp we're about to get unless you miss your attacks right this time we'll go for aerial ice because that can't miss that's a lot of xp And with that, we get the free heal. And is that it? There you go, Route 6. We'll go and grab this rock gem. Let's quickly check the encounters, see if there's anything new. So we got a Surskit. What else have we got? Oh, yes, Teddy Ursa. Um, what type are you going to be? Okay, so you don't resist steel moves. Um, we'll try and put you to sleep and then catch you. Uh, sleep powder. And now you just gotta get in the ball. Yeah, and we get it first try. We haven't really had any difficulties yet catching anything. Cine. I'm really not sure what that is. So it's not fire type. But well, I suppose until we get to a Pokemon Center we're not going to be able to find out. But it's cool that we got a new fake man. Well, new regional variant, sorry. Uh, Skitty. Should resist all your attacks. Um, what's this guy doing? Can you leave me alone please? What is here is very important to me. It literally looks like some rocks. Like, surely that's not that important. And then this guy's doing circles. Oh, you saw a gold nugget. I think I might have to beat you up and take that. The sentry always had rest. And then you got Polywell, that's perfect for Descarga. I love how at one point like Descarga was like miles ahead levels and now it's actually falling behind. And you got another sentry. No, we'll give Hitmonchan some spotlight. Smash gets the KO. Oh, we got X accuracy. 
I wonder if there actually is a oh yeah there is a nugget I told you we'd get it we've also got a firestone over here and then there's a house here that we'll go to we've already got you Teddy Ursa, so we don't need you it seems that you're at the limit of your strength do you want to rest for a while oh that's perfect I was just thinking that I need to heal up Throughout Sapphira, you will find some imposing black monoliths that were built by our ancestors. In them, they left engraved messages of great importance for humanity in its future. I think there's one near here, but you have to go up the river to find it. So, you mean we need Surf. To be fair, I think we did find one of them in an earlier episode, but it didn't really mean anything at the time. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah, oh, it's our rival. Oh, by the great spirit Pokex. Have you set out to ruin all my catches or what? I was about to hand fish that Pokemon. Why don't I use a fishing rod? That's for modern trainers. Well, are you going to stand by and watch, or are you going to make this up to me with a fight? Go, let's fight. To be fair, we haven't battled her since the first time we've seen her, I don't think. We've got a Lycan Rock. Um, I think we should be alright. And then it goes and hits us with a Rock Tomb. Um, this car gets all down to you. Why couldn't you do that against Farfetch'd? Other than KO in it. A Shaboon? What's a Shaboon? Ah, oh, that looks so good. So you're the fire one. Um, okay, so we'll sack off Pandora. We've got a massive weakness to um, fire now, look at my team. Hit on Shan. I wonder what it's second typing is. Oh, it's going to be fairy, isn't it? Yeah. So you're fire fairy. Um, I might use my revive here. I swore we had a revive. Maybe not. Got a pretty good move pool to be fair. Oh, it's absolutely decimating our team. The levels aren't helping either, really. Okay, Persian, you're gonna take a lot of damage, but. Flame charge. That does more damage than I was expecting. Oh, we don't heal up though. Okay, don't yeah, as I say, don't miss that. Thought we were gonna wipe there. Uh, next up is a Zatu. And um, we'll just stay in I suppose. Get a flinch please. No you don't. Okay, it's all down to you, Tangler. Steamroller. Yeah, we did wipe. Alright then, so... We're gonna have to... Try something different. At least now though, we can go and get Teddy Ursa. Unless it's a dark type. That's gonna be quite useful. Um, what did she lead off with now? Like a rock. So we will lead off with Discarget. Thankfully, it brings us back to Jalok City, so we ain't got to go all the way back. But making our way all the way here is going to be a little bit long. So we got to go back through this cave. Try and avoid all of the encounters while we're there. So up here. How do we get there? Oh, we need rock line. Oh, I thought well, that was um, car collar or something then. Timber. So some different encounters, I suppose. 
Right, and then we're back where we were, Route 6. So we went past this guy. And this is where we got attacked. So let's try this again. Hopefully now we have an idea of what the team is. We should be a little bit better prepared. Okay, so we'll Mega Drain you. Doesn't get the KO though. How do we outspeed the second time? I don't get that. Shaboon, you're the fire type. So Persian will be alright here. Get flame charge for the speed. Oh, I forgot. You had a defense drop last time. Um, yeah. Should have fought that one through. So now we're going to start hitting ourselves. And we also start missing. Right, potion time it is. Thankfully we resist all of its attacks. Oh, I thought he'd live there. Okay, so that's out of the way. Zatu comes in now and we can see Teddy Ursa. Um, Faint attack. Echo does so much damage. You shouldn't have anything there that can really hurt Farfetch'd or anything. Apart from Nightshade. And of course you live there. So to pop it up. You use your Hyper Potion. But one more should do. And there you go. So she'd actually got quite a hard team this time. Okay, I get it. You seem intent on breaking my peace of mind every time our paths cross. By the way, you're going to think it's strange that I bring this up again, but what exactly happened to you during that blackout in Sirocco Town? I thought I saw that, I mean, well, I like to worry about the health of my colleagues. I just want you to know that if you ever see anything out of the ordinary, I have some experience in that. Trust me, I've seen a lot of the world. To be fair, she does seem like someone that would travel around quite a bit. Um, we'll grab this. I'm just going to quickly run back and heal and then we'll carry on. Right then, so we're back. Let's talk to this guy. What an amateur. Uh, well, I was an expert trainer in my day. In fact, if you beat me, I'll give you something you can use. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Now I think about it, there was a guy that we were supposed to go and speak to after we beat Beal. He said he was going to give us a Moonstone. I suppose we can go back at another date. You're going to tank this shot well quite well. Yeah, I knew you would. Make a drain. That gets the KO, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh, you're going to have all the evolutions. Um, we'll go Persia. Bite. That shouldn't do too much. And that third bite should finish you off. Next is Jolteon, so we'll go Tangela. Go for a mud shot. Oh, I forgot you get Fimby Saw. That doesn't do anywhere near enough. Don't get five. Ah, oh, thank you. We should definitely have speed now, surely. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was going to work out in the end. Teddy also wants to learn Slash. I suppose it's better than sweets then. And what are you going to give us? As promised, you're an expert in combat. Oh, we've got the expert belt. It's not a bad item actually. Um, I'm just going to quickly use some soda pops to get everyone back up. And then we'll carry on around here. I'm an exceptional fisherman who loves everything. Someone like me can only battle with extraordinary Pokemon. 
Okay, let's see what you extraordinary Pokemon are. The Remoraid. Um, Descarga again. Tank that Bubble Beam. You're quite friend, I think some Mega Jones should KO. What's your next one? Don't tell me you got just three Remoraids. What's your third Pokemon? A Bibral. Okay, that's different. Survives the Mega Drain as well. Shockwave will finish you up. Oh my god, Teddy S is evolving already. This looks massive. Please be good. I actually quite like Ursaring to be fair as a Pokemon. Just the fact it's a normal type so it doesn't really get much love. Ah, oh, that looks good. That looks good. I like that. Does it stay the same type? Yeah, it's still dark type. It's got Intimidate as well, so pretty useful ability. Um, we might as well battle you as well. Need all the XP you can get in this game. Fletching, uh... Um, you know what? Let's see Ursa again, actually. Fade attack. Two of them will do. Uh, or next is Ampharos, so Tangler it is. Good shot. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to do much, to be fair. Especially like now you got a special defense boost as well. This thing really is boosting up. Rough skin to the rescue. I'm not sure which way we need to go. Yeah, it looks like that way, so we'll head back this way, see what's down here. Looks like we've got a double battle. Magma and Electabuzz. So it's not looking good for this guy I've got here. Ah, oh, did the wrong one. And we'll rock smash Electabuzz. No. We'll rock smash magma because that's the bigger threat at the moment. Oh, we lived as well. Okay, so we can rock smash electables this time. Because that'll go down anyway. And we're paralyzed. And now we can switch into Tangler because you're probably going to go Shockwave again. No, you actually got the Electro Ball. Mud Shot should hopefully finish it off. Yeah. So that was a little bit of a tricky ish battle. You gotta love the Kanto Pokemon though. I think I'm just going to use my Poke Boil. Um, actually, no. We'll keep that in case anyone faints. But I'm definitely going to have to lead with something else. Go far fetched. So, what's actually around here? Oh, looks like we can head down to here. This looks like some little lair. Okay, we'll move this. Looks like an old chest. Numeric key. Should we just try 0, 1, 2, 3? It does not give in the condemned map. 1, 
two, three, four. No, well we got a black sludge anyway. We'll quickly check if there's any encounters in here. Do three, I think. So we got a Joltic. Ghastly, and what's the third one? And um, another Ghastly, so nothing new. Uh, why are you not letting us get away? Do not be that annoying Pokemon. So I think there were some rocks we could smash. Who's that? Oh, we got a Gatling Grunt. Oh, maybe this is one of the escape... Not the escapees, the most wanted. Got the TM for Ominous Wind. Oh, how did you find my hiding place? Damn it. I'm one of the most dangerous members of the team, Gatlin. You don't believe me? I'll let you know the hard way. I mean, you're probably not going to be that tough. You have got a survivor, though. Or Swords Dance. And then Aerial Ace. What is it with the hats on? That was quite well played actually. Tangler should do some good use here though. Mud trap. I don't think we're going to outspeed. Oh, we do, but we miss the mud trap. Get it this time though. The Viper will just stay in, go for a mud shot. Oh, I forgot your poison type. Alright then, Farfetch, it's down to you. Try and do what we were originally going to do. Just stop getting paralysed. Okay, another aerial ace. Oh my god, that's like three times in the last four. Okay, okay, you win. I will surrender to the law. My self-esteem is not capable of suffering another defeat like that. This way I can visit my brother-in-law is also behind bars. Okay, so return to Astral City Police Station. Um, I'm just going to use my Pokeball now, I think. Seeing as we've got someone who's been KO'd. And then head on back up. I wonder what the reward is that we get. I hope it's something good. Not just money um, what way did we come from well, we'll grab this X attack and I think we just gotta head back up oh should we catch this and see if we can feed it with victory battle nah I do like Bidoof the god of Pokemon as they call it can't be going sacrificing it to a victory battle ok then so we've arrived at all below town ink could be called from dad Hey Pokax, Apollo told me you're headed to Orvalo Town. Go see your mother, she'll be happy to see you. She's at the health centre, you know that right? It's the building equivalent to the Pokemon Centre in Orvalo Town. I'm going to take a ride to Ashville City, I have the girlfriend there. Um, I'm going to stay here for now, but it's nice that we can get that. Please get the hell out of here, you have nothing to do with these deli bird. They're Pokemon that live on what they steal, we don't intend to do any personal harm to anyone. You're not going to leave us alone. If you don't leave, I'll have to throw you out by force. You asked for it. I mean, I didn't know that he was just going to randomly attack us. He's got a Corvus Squire, so... Um, steel flying, isn't it? It's a Descarga. Of course he goes for a bug move. Goes out to Gallade. Your... Psychic fighting. Okay, Tangler. Get some mud shots off. That really didn't do much damage. Maybe sleep powder then. So then we can get that leftovers. Of course, it literally does one. Um. This is going to be a little bit of a grind, but let's hope he hasn't got any healing items. The 
Steamroller do more damage? A little bit. Right, thankfully he didn't have healing items, so weren't as grindy as it could have been. Corvus Quiet comes next, so let's go Descarga. Shockwave. Do just leave there. Oh, now you're going to swallow it. Um, far fetched. Doesn't affect us. Sword stamp set up. Um, I think we'll go for another sword stance actually. Very nice. Gets the KO. And now Corvus Quark will come in if we just knock off. So Mystery Guy Remington. It had been a long time since I had faced someone so strong. At least I managed to buy time for the Deadly Bird to get away. Let this be a lesson to you. Try not to meddle in the affairs of others from now on. Do you hear his call from the sealed city? Um, yeah. What? The guy just spoke a load of gibberish and then jumped in the water. Are you completing the Pokedex? Well, I feel like going out and wandering around. As nice as at home, isn't there a way to get Pokemon online? The other day I found a stone in the river. Do you want it? It doesn't seem to have much value. Shiny stone? That can be used to evolve someone. Um, nothing in the garbage. So what was it they said to do now? Go to... What's this? Is that shiny Sableye? Do you think our reflection is just illusion or perhaps the other self that greets us from another world? Who knows, take this for listening to my ramblings. I got TM for reflect, kind of makes sense. Water is good, we have to drink it to maintain our vital functions, but the best thing about water is when it hides gold inside, and the Rio River hides many gold nuggets. I will not rest until I get them all. There's a cave in this village at the edge of the river. We used to let the kids come and play, but we had to ban it when they were alerted to the presence of a dangerous Pokemon. Anyway, Surf needed to get to it, and obviously we will go there when we get Surf. Here we have no ordinary Pokemon Centre but the prestigious Health Centre. This is an academy that trains the best health professionals in the world, both human and Pokemon. The strange runes on Route 6 belong to the ancient Orvalo town. It was washed away during a river flood and we had to move to this part of the basin. Here at the top of the hills we are out of danger, although being close to the swamp there are days when it smells of poison type Pokemon. I mean, I'm pretty sure it would live next to a swamp. Ooh, okay, so this looks different. Uh, might as well heal while we're here. Then we'll go and speak to everyone here. Um, can't go up here, I don't think. Oh, it's not even stairs, it's a bookcase. Science of health is advancing at an encouraging pace. We can now cure diseases that decades ago seemed incurable. Will we be in a few centuries? Can any form of pain be avoided? Will we live forever? Our Pokemon has grown a strange variety of poker as I've never seen before. He's been investigated upstairs, I hope nothing bad happens to him. I wonder what this new strain of poker is. Recently the theory that viruses could be microscopic Pokemon has been gaining ground. If true, we would have information on how to deal with him. Can you imagine catching a virus with a Pokeball or weakening it with a tackle? I mean, yeah, it would be pretty good. Alright, it's a banner. Man, look who's here. The trader at the moment. Did you know that you fight against the Astral City gym leader who's on the front page of many newspapers? Look, follow me, I want to show you something. This is Joanna, one of the leading researchers of the Pokescence phenomenon. Your work is very important. It is calculated that Pokescence will be the energy of the future in a few years. I've worked for the government in the past with projects related to this energy source. I know what I'm talking about. You're too optimistic, Abano. We still have many mysteries to unravel. How can we harness all that energy for the benefit of humanity? We knew that Pokescence arises from the life energy of Pokemon and we feel great appreciation for their trainer. We did an experiment in which two strong trainers fought a battle with their Pokemon hooked up to machines. During the course of the battle its Pokemon began to emit radiation that was capable of powering the entire building, but the energy began to become unstable and the machines exploded. We have a theory that a very strong trainer might go into a state of ecstasy with its Pokemon during a particularly exciting battle. 
This would release enough potassium to solve the energy shortage. Even the notices of Safari believe this, they called it Kanda, the link. What lesson do you take from all of this, Pokex? Yeah. Listen, it wasn't my strong point. Exactly. This shows that Pokemon and humans are destined to accompany each other and fight together. Call it Arceus, call it God, call it Pedrin. Someone designed the laws of nature so that both races would become strong together. Do you understand the role of being a trainer? You are continuing the universal cosmic legacy. Excuse me, are you Pokex? Your father told us you were coming to visit your mother. She's waiting for you upstairs. Wait a minute, Pokex, does your mom work here? Is she a scientist? I'd love to be if it's not too much trouble. So, yeah, I could, to be honest, I did kind of wonder what had happened to our mom, but I suppose we're about to find out. Left in charge of a seriously ill opinion a few weeks ago. She's now recovering and I would like to find someone to take care of her. Although this is a special Pokemon that requires a lot of patience, I will not give it to anyone with less than five badges. Um, have you not been watching us on the tube? Like, we've been making noise. This way, please. You already know that in the health centre we take care of humans and Pokemon. In this facility we try to give a dignified life to patients suffering from any type of mental illness. Wait, don't tell me that. Ah, oh, no, is she actually mentally ill? I did not see that coming. I genuinely thought she was going to be a nurse or something. She, she's mentally ill. Lizzie, your daughter is here to see you. Oh my god. Pokax, is that you? I already knew. I already knew you'd come. The stars told me while I was dreaming. The other day they put the TV on and I was able to watch you for a while. You were having a Pokemon battle with another person. You looked so much older. I'm missing everything you're changing. Excuse me, I'm a doctor. May I know what our case is? Paranoid schizophrenia. It was practically overnight. We still haven't come up with an explanation. It had to be terrible for the family. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's something I want you to see, Miss Pokex. Lizzie, why don't you show us your latest drawing? It's on the table. Oh my god, that's the Pokemon that we saw? So she's not a schizophrenia? She's just seen the same thing we did. Can you explain to me again what you drew, Lizzie? It's, it's the shadow that appears in my dreams. He speaks to me in a calm voice and also very sad. What is he talking about? He tells me to go with him. If I don't, if I don't, oh, but it's a secret, I can't tell anyone. You can tell us that secret, Lizzie, trust us. I don't want to, I don't want to keep seeing him. They make me see horrible things. Horrible things that have happened in places far away. You'd better go now, it's time to give her a medication. Yes, I understand, we're leaving right now. I had no idea, Pokax, excuse my lack of consideration. In my years as a psychiatrist, I've seen some truly devastating cases. I know it's very hard, but that drawing on the paper, holy crap, didn't it look like a Pokemon? Listen, Pokax, I'm very interested in your mother. Um, I beg your pardon? I mean, I'm very interested in your case. I would like to investigate further. If I have your permission, I will try to find out the real meaning behind that drawing. At the bottom of the river, luck came to me, for I met a brilliant star me. At the bottom of the river, this guy's singing. Romero, good boy. How was your fishing? Four golden and a pair of slowpoke. But now it's my turn to go back to the gym or I'll lose my grant. I wish I could spend all day fishing. Do not neglect your gym. This year there is a high level of skill among the trainers. Look, this is Pokax. You won't beat this one easily. Hmm, interesting. I'd like to catch a good fight for once. If it wasn't for my patience as an expert fisherman, I would have left the gym a long time ago. For the little prestige that being a, a leader has nowadays. I'll be waiting for you, Pokax. I hope you take the bait. Oh, by the way, Pokax, have a little gift before we say goodbye. Oh, we got Poke Rider. 
is that how we get around instead of a bike with this application you'll be able to use the network uh flying taxis applied cities already a privilege worthy of a budding great trainer so oh my god like what a twist in the plot that was like i did not expect our mom to be in a mental hospital but yeah next episode we will take on the gym leader and carry on the story which seems to be around this pokemon that we saw in like a vision and obviously our mom's been seen as well but yeah thank you everyone for watching and i hope to see you all next time